Hey everyone, how's it going? Today let's take a look at the 20, 2021 BMW X3M competition. This is going to be a full in-depth tour. We'll start it up, go through some of the features of the exterior and interior, as well as some of the performance data. And today I'm at Birch BMW in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. And so without further ado, let's go and start her up and let her run. And of course, vehicle does have smart key access, keep the key fob in your pocket or bag, able to lock and lock the vehicle with touch sensors as well as rib patterns on each of the door handles, tap the ridge, locks it with one chime, folds in the mirrors, then after one second just grab onto any of the door handles, two chimes, unlock, unlocks it. It's the Toronado gray, uh, red metallic with black Napa leather with of course your white stitching as well as carbon fiber trim. It, of course, does have push button ignition, put your foot on the brake, and hit the dash mount a button to go. Beautiful. Three spoke leather wrap steering wheel, nice tight grip feedback, as well as your M color contrasting stitching, bolstering, your uh, aluminum trim, heated steering wheel, as well as the leather stitched airbag cover. It does also have an eight speed automatic transmission, which of course is very, well, not very, but it's M specific. Click it on over for neutral. So put your wheel and brake, click it on over for neutral, and then up for reverse. Review camera with parking aid lines as well as parking sensors. Neutral as well as drive as well as manual mode. And then click it on over for uh, automatic mode. And then just hit P for park. Has a red, a uh, red, uh, bit of red coloring, soft touch material, and of course, as you go through the iDrive system, you have your rear view camera, parking aid lines, obstacle markings, as well as automatic parking, camera image settings, so on and so forth. And let's go ahead and turn on the headlamps; they're also automatic. Front and rear parking lamps, as well as the hazards. All four windows are fully automatic. Well, and of course, let's go and check out the exterior. The vehicle chime lighting notes less detection of the key fob. So the X3M uh, competition is the sort of base, uh, well not base, but the, I guess you could say beginner for the X3M or for like any competition model for the SUVs because you have the X3M, X4M competition, X5 and X6M competition, but the X3M is definitely the starter. With that, you got BMW LED uh, adaptive headlamp rings with Corona headlamp, uh, well, with Corona headlamp rings, uh, um, LED turn signals, as well as your LED parking lights. You also got your carbon fiber diffuser, front body kit, your M specific body kit as well. But of course, has carbon fiber, all M specific to the vehicle. Blacked out kidney grills, blacked out uh, pretty much. This whole section here is all blacked out with a bit of carbon fiber. Side park and assist uh, sensor, as well as 20 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Blacked out, well black painted, polished, and of course you got your drilled slotted brake calibers, or sorry, your drilled and slotted brake disc with blue and brake calibers on Michelin Pilot Sport 4S to, uh, performance tires. Air breather, swooping lines, reinsensing wipers, full panoramic sunroof, blacked out roof rails, power forming steered mirrors with carbon fiber, LED certain signals, camera, and they're also heated with your blind spot detection and they're also cut out with the M specific, the model. Lower side M apron, rear spoiler, LED tail lamps, rear park assist, M performance exhaust as well as your rear M diffuser, LED light boot lights with your rear view camera, just hearing that little growl, that is very, very menacing, and this thing is very loud. The X3M is definitely one of my favorites, but then again, the X5M is definitely the way to go with the split tailgate. And just looking at this color right now, you'll get noticed in no time. Of course, stepping into the BMW X3, X3M competition entry guards, all their floor mats, sport pedals, dead pedal, 
manually tilt telescoping steering wheel, storage, water bottle holder. You also got powerful exterior mirrors that fold up and away into the vehicle. Lock and unlock, two-person memory, carbon fiber trim, leather, uh, stitching, as well as padding. Eight, eight way, or 12 way adjustable seat. You also got your illuminated M logo with, of course, your power headrest. Manually tilt telescopic steering wheel, it's also heated. Beautiful. So let's go and shut her up. Nice solid feel. And of course, this vehicle does come with the standard Harman Kardon audio surround sound system with, I believe, 12 speakers. But it sounds phenomenal. Standard um, AM FM radio, satellite radio, and uh, of course your auxiliary as well as Bluetooth audio, stream, streaming of audio. And this is your main home screen, so it's very similar to, well, it's pretty much the same system as like 2017 7 Series, 2018 X5. So it has your gesture controls, touch screen, and of course you can use the iDrive controller right here with your short button keys. So with that, twisting the wheel and you can also use like a center control here. So it's your main home screen, so media. Like I said, Sirius XM, AM, FM radio, Spotify, Bluetooth audio, screen mirroring, mobile devices, going through different uh, stations, sound settings, balance fader, surround mode, communication, so Bluetooth telephone text messages for those ind uh, business individuals, as well as BMW Assist, customer support, concierge, as well as setting up uh, your roadside and accident assistance. You can also, sort of like a concierge, so you can set up appointments for like dinner reservations, as well as uh, appointments for, you know, at your BMW center. Navigation, very detailed map. Got your points of interest, um, different street names, traffic updates car so you got your driving information and setup for like settings vehicle status as well as the main system as well as vehicle settings itself driver profile so you can set up I think it's uh, eight different profiles as well as the digital owner's manual apps like I said Apple CarPlay Android Auto installed apps M lap timer my BMW your service center software information personal assistance assistant you also got some short button keys up here, just in the main menu, recent destinations, calls, notifications, help, displays, as well as turn off the screen at night. You also got your intelligent safety button right here, turn off your auto start stop feature, mode band, seven different presets, as well as short button key for your uh, BMW, I guess you could say like a connected, or sorry, apps, BMW app. So you got your BMW apps button there, tune C. Climate control, menu, auto recirculation, temperature adjustment, max front defrost, rear defrost, different zones, auto, temperature adjustment here, heated and cooled seats for both driver and passenger, fan speed, max AC, AC, re recycling, sinking, X3M competition logo right there, phone charger tray, you also got your USB power outlet, two adjustable cup holders, 12 volt power outlet, Turn off for traction control, M setup mode, sound uh, for your exhaust, your sound controls you can have whether sporty or efficient, parking sensors, camera system, uphill, uh, downhill assist, auto hold function, electronic parking brake, center console, uh, deep storage, and of course you got your LED illumination as well as a USB type C power outlet. Coming up here you got your cloth headliner. Grab handle, side curtain airbags, Bluetooth, microphone, card holder, LED visor, LED illumination, SOS their BMW, auto dimming your view mirror, three car garage home link, and of course a one touch automatic sunroof control. With of course the little wind deflector that pops up. And then of course the back portion is also like a viewing roof to let light in so it's not an actual moving sunroof. And of course, coming up to the steering wheel, you got your cruise control, your uh, different uh, selection button on the right side of the cluster here, so you can go like trip computer, efficiency, total, PSI, 
your current media that you're at, as well as automatic high beams, turn signal, high beam stock, intermittent wipers are also automatic, heat steering wheel, different M1 and M2 driving modes, you also got your on hook off hook, different settings as well. Well, actually, coming up onto the dash, there's a uh, heads up display with your RPM as well as your current kilometer that you're at, as well as a speed limit sign. But when you click the three icons right here, it'll see if you want to switch between AM, FM radio as well as like a USB um, or Bluetooth audio streaming. So that's definitely very nice. You also got your tune seek. You can also go through the system as well. I don't know if you can see, but you can see you can, uh, can scroll through to different stations. Volume controls as well as voice commands. Help. Please select a category, for example, navigation, to display a selection of available commands. Cancel. All right. And of course, it's a simple to use system. All the commands are listed in the system, and of course, your owner's manual. And it's a simple to use and simple to follow um, system. Very, very helpful. So let's go and shut her down. And of course, too, I forgot to mention. You also got a bit of storage here for like change or anything that you want to put. So let's go and shut her down. Let's go and check out the back seat. So back seat passengers are treated with a good amount of luxury, even though this is a sports SUV. Manual sunshades, carbon fiber trim, storage as well as a water bottle holder, all with the floor mats. Pop right in. And of course, no storage pockets or storage nets in the back seats. That way, you can save the uh, room for um, for uh, for weight savings. We do got air register, like climate control system back here, heated seats, little bits of storage under here, as well as two USB Type C connectors. We also got a center console with, of course, an armrest, two adjustable cup holders, and you also got a, a uh, sort of like a trunk pass-through, so you could store larger, longer items in the back. You also got your, like I said, your um, viewing roof back here when the shade's back. Coat hooks, LED illumination. Very comfy back here. You can also fold down the uh, headrest for better visibility. So let's go and check out the rest of the vehicle. So cargo space with the X3M is actually quite large. Very roomy rear. You also got your cargo cover, LED illumination. You can also pull down the seats back here by uh, the release level lever right there, as well as right there. Storage net, you got your fuse box entrance, as well as your roadside assistance kit and first aid kit release here. Cargo bag holder. You also got your tie down hooks here, as well as your cargo rail system to keep items tied down. Under here, you got some more storage. You also got your oil as well as your jack and stowage. Oh, vehicle's floor mats as well as like a little parcel shelf strap. 12 volt power outlet. And of course, you can bring this back. And you also got a brushed aluminum entry guard. So pretty much when the cargo shed's back, you can hide your cargo from prying eyes. LED illumination. And it's also hands-free access as well. So just kick your foot underneath. Well, I know some, I guess it's a, uh, it depends on what package or option you get. You can actually get a hands-free access uh, lift gate so you can put your foot on there, kick your foot underneath, it'll open up the gate and kick it underneath again and it'll close it for you all hands-free. Premium and of fuel, gas cap, place to put your cap. And you also got quarterless windows in the back for better visibility. You also got the same thing as the driver, just without the two-person memory. Nice solid feel. Black and glove box, lined and felt, LED illuminated. B 
beautiful vehicle. Well detailed, maintaining the BMW luxury as well as that M Sport division, and keeping it true to a new bloodline. Definitely a head turner everywhere you go. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the in depth tour of the 2021 BMW X3M competition. Be sure, to stay tuned next time. There's a lot more where that came from. Take care, everybody.